One of the most common requests that I get when working with businesses is to add a meet the team section on their homepage. Now figures, you know, every business has a team. And so if you are either building a Squarespace website for your business and you want to showcase your team, or if you're a designer and you build it for a client, you're going to want to know how to build a section that showcases your team in the best way possible. Now, one thing I've tried in the past is like a slider. But oftentimes that means key team members get missed, you know, off to the sides. Not everyone is going to realize or can be bothered to scroll through a list section where they're going to see team members. So the best way to do this is going to be a simple grid of team members. And I'm going to show you how to set that up in the most easy and scalable way possible. So I've got the site open here. And basically what you want to do is go into pages and find the page that you're going to add your team to. In this case, what I'll do is I'll just add it onto uh, the home page here. So edit, and I'm going to want to add the team section here. So add section. And if you go into people, you'll see that there's various ways that you can add teams here. I prefer something along these lines. Now I'm going to customize this a bit because Squarespace gives us a good base, but I know it can be better. So edit content, content, uh, design, there we go. So you want to keep this as a simple list because if we keep it as a, or if we adjust it to a carousel, you'll see what I mean here about having to scroll through. And we don't want that because, you know, there may be really key people on the team who just get completely ignored and no one even realizes they work there. So design and simple list. Now we can do, I would say three or four columns. So four, I think looks good here. Let's make this left aligned. And now this is where your preference really comes into play. So do you want the original aspect ratio? Do you want something like a circle, like a profile picture? Or do you want something like a square? I think personally, a circle looks best. Now what we want to do is go into style. Again, this is all going to come down to personal preference, but this is what I do most of the time. So set up a card and we're going to give this card a little bit of padding like so. And then we're going to make the text a little bit bigger. So medium, medium is a good way to, um, or a good place to start. Size and space. We're going to want to make our media small width, put it to the left. So we're going to make this like a real uh, profile card. Content placement is going to go over to the left as well. And then the width, we're probably going to stick this on large. Space, space between elements. Let's see. I mean, you can play around with this, but again, small to medium is fine. Vertical padding. You want to match that to uh, what, whatever your section padding is throughout the site. So again, small or medium is fine. Well, so is large, but I just don't think it looks as good. Now it's important if you are using a, a card, you want the position to have these two arrows here. And what that means is, so I'll click it and you won't notice anything, but when we start to add in content down here, so describing, you know, who this person is, it's going to start to fill in this card. And what you don't want to happen, or you know, personally, what I don't like to happen is when this card is stretched down, this card stays here. And then you have like this weird mismatch of card alignment. So what I'll do just to show you is I'll, I'll keep it like this and I'll go into content and I go into Monet good and then I'll start writing. So I'll just say, give AI a paragraph about Monet good. And it's going to start writing and you see what happens is we get this mismatch of heights. We can stop that right in and let's just cut off. Uh, I mean, that's a lot. So we'll just cut off there. There we go. If we go back into design, size and space, and we click that, you can see now it's a cleaner, a uh, cleaner look to the card. If we go back, I'm looking at this and I think everything seems a bit too spaced. So let's try, yeah, keep it at four columns, but then we'll go into size and space. And then we'll go space between items. 
Oh, for some reason I kept that large. I think that is my issue. So small to medium is probably going to be your best bet. And then media width. I'm going to actually take this down a little bit more. And you can see it really starts to look like a little profile card now. If you're anything like me, you're probably going to think this is too small as well. So if you want to be more granular with the sizing of your text, just go back into here, and design, style, and text size. This is going to give us more control over, you can see, our item description. So I'm going to keep it, let's say, 1.5, and we can make our title a bit bigger as well. So we'll say, we'll call that 2. If we go out now, you can see we've got this nice meet the team effect here. And then you can go ahead and fill in, you know, titles. You can upload your profile pictures in here. Just quickly, I'll show you how to do that if you're interested. So let's go back into content and content. We click into our item and we can replace. So you can upload your headshot. You can change the name. If you want, you can add a role and then you can add a description in here. If you want to get rid of people or if you want to move them, you can just drag and drop. But if you want to get rid, you can do that. If you want to add more, you click on add. It's really intuitive. Title, you don't actually have to have all of the items. So if you go into elements, you can actually toggle almost everything off. So if you don't want images, well, that's fine. You can just untoggle the image. If you want a button underneath, call to action, maybe to go to the team page or get in touch, you can do that as well. But I'm going to keep that off. And if you want a button in the cards, you can have that as well. If you did have that and go into the content, you're going to be presented with button text and link. So let's just say we'll keep it as read bio. And then you can send them to, let's say, their LinkedIn profile or something like that. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to turn that off as well. If we go into mobile, you'll see how this looks. So you'll see all the cards will just stack one on top of the other. Once you're happy, hit save and exit. And we've got a nice, clean meet the team section ready to go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.